it's upgraded the sound system time in my Yaris sedan. So what we've got is some basic equipment. We've got six and a half inch splits for the front. Oh, sorry, six and a half inch two-way. I was going to go the splits, but I decided against it. So we've got the six and a half inch two-way. They're good for 50 RMS. We've got the six by nines. Uh, they're a three-way. They're designed for 60 watts RMS. Probably not going to get too close to that. And the amplifier of choice is this little Sony. And looking at the specs, it says it's good for 45 watts RMS. So close enough is good enough. Now, I've seen these amplifiers on the internet, but I haven't seen any size comparisons used. That's the unit. This is the factory head unit out of the car, which I've already removed. And that's the size of the uh, <clears throat> amplifier. Basically, it's, well, it's just under the width of a single DIN. Um, and a little bit thinner, probably about uh, two thirds the thickness of a single DIN head unit. Um, uses, it only draws 15 amps. So you could run this directly off vehicle harness wiring, which is what I plan to do. Uh, Inputs go in, outputs come out. It seems to use the standard Sony harness. So adapting this out shouldn't be too difficult since I'm already using harness adapters. So uh, pretty much it's a case of pull the doors out, <clears throat> or pull the door skins off, replace the fronts, and pull the covers off the 6x9s in the back, the factory ones, and screw those in. Now we're not going to be using the the surrounds that come with the speakers, going to be using the door skins for the six and a half, going to be using the factory mounts, uh, covers for the backs. Uh, as far as wiring this in is concerned, uh, it's pretty much spliced into the ISO harness adapter that I've already got in there and uh, pretty much go from there. So see how we go. So this is the uh, cabling as it goes. This will be the input to the amplifier. Uh, I'm using the high input. It's a bit less cabling and the, the signal shouldn't have a, pick up as much noise from the car. It should be good. Uh, and this will be the output cabling. And what I'll be using is a spare ISO harness that I had left over. Uh, one side will feed, uh, I'll go to one end of the cabling and one side will go to the other end of the cabling. And then all I can do is the cabling that's running from the head unit at the moment. I just separate it, plug one into here, plug one into here, and pretty much put, pop a bullet connector on the end of this because the Sony harness has a, a spare connector anyway. Um, I'll have to attach this remote lead somehow. I think I've got Wago connectors in there at the moment. I'll have to have a look anyway. Um, and the ground lead can go up beside the mount that the head unit is held into the dash with. And just like that, you've got your amplifier. It's just chilling up here, just below the dash. A little bit hard to see from here because of it's night time now, but it's all in, all ready to go, and it works.